example, I want to show you how to do a submission of your homework on Mac. So you can see here in my temp filter program, I've got uh, my source directory, my updated readme.txt and CMake lists, and I have a couple of build directories that are just hanging around here. So I've already tested everything on my machine. It seems to be working fine, uh, but I'm ready to upload this to ECE3 to test it and then submit to D2L. So first I'm going to delete these two directories because I don't need to have these directories uh, in my submission. And then I'm going to rename temp filter to be my net ID underscore temp filter. So now I'm ready to compress this file. I'm going to turn it into a zip file automatically, like so. So now I'm ready to take this zip file and upload it to test on ECE3. So I'm in the same directory here, print working directory, and I'm going to use secure copy SCP to copy springjm underscore temp filter dot zip to, to my username springjm at ECE3 dot ECE dot Arizona dot edu. And then I'm just going to copy it to my home directory. So this little tilde will copy it there. I won't have to type in my password here, but you will. So now I've securely copied this file to ECE3. I'm going to use SSH, secure shell, to, to log in to ECE3. So I'm going to specify my net ID at ece3.ece.arizona.edu. Again, you'll have to type in your password here, but I won't. So now I'm in my home directory, home slash springjm. And if I look for springjm, any files that start with springjm, I see that I have my tempfilter.zip here. So I also have a folder called ECE275 that I created, and there's nothing inside of it right now. So I'm going to move springjm tempfilter.zip to ECE275. And now, if I look in the ECE275 folder, I see that I have springjm underscore tempfilter.zip. So now I'm ready to test. So I'm going to change directories with the cd command to ECE275. And now in this directory, I can list all the files in cspringjm underscore tempfilter.zip. So in order to unzip this file, I'm going to use a special command called unzip. And I'm going to unzip springjm underscore tempfilter.zip. And I see a bunch of files here that I will need as well as some files that I won't need. So I don't need that underscore underscore macOSX directory. I wouldn't worry about it for now. So cd springjm tempfilter. And this is now the same folder that I had access to on my own machine. So I'm going to run now exactly what the TAs will run when grading the code. Make dir build, cd build, cmake dot dot to make sure that cmake runs, and then make. And now I would be ready to run dot slash source temp filter and it correctly tells me that I need to provide input files and output files. So use the same command scp to copy input files to ECE3 and then you would be able to test them with their relative path names. So let's see if I can do this. I'm going to exit back out of ECE3 and I'm going to go find where those files are on my machine. So in my case I have them here somewhere in my test file. I have the original temp filter test files dot tgz. So I'm going to copy this file, use secure copy to copy this file um, to ECE3 so that I can use it there. So I can do this by clicking on the file here. Actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, cd to go to that directory first. So I'm going to change directories with cd and then I'm going to come over here to test, which is the folder that that's in. I'm going to grab this little folder and tab back over to the terminal and then drag the folder into here and it's going to give me that directory. I can just press enter and now I see that I have tempfilter underscore test files dot tgz here. So now I'm going to use secure copy again, scp to copy tempfilter underscore test files dot tgz to springjm at ece3.ece.arizona.edu. And again, I'm just going to, I could just copy this to my home directory. What I'm going to actually do is go ahead and copy it to my ECE275 folder since I know it's already there on the remote machine. Again, you'll have to type your password here. 
if you don't have an ECE275 folder, then this will just copy this file and name it ECE275. So it'll be really confusing. So only do this if you have an ECE275 folder. So now I'm going to SSH again to ECE3. And again, you'd have to type your password there. And I'm going to change my directory to ECE275. And now I should see tempfilter underscore testfiles.tgz. And it looks like I do. So to extract this on Linux, I'm going to use the tar program for tape archive. I'm going to extract a zipped file called tempfilter underscore testfiles.tgz. And now I should have a folder called tempfilter underscore testfiles as well, which I do right here. So now I'm ready to try to take some of these files in tempfilter underscore testfiles and pass them to my program. So my program is still located in sprintjm underscore tempfilter. And then there's the build directory right where, I, right where I left it. So when we were last here, I tried source tempfilter. And then it told me, oh, you need to pass the input file and the output file. So I know that the inf input file is somewhere up in this tempfilter underscore test files directory, but I can't remember exactly where that is. I think it's somewhere up above me. So I'm going to list the directory above me. It's not there. I'm going to list the directory above that as well, dot, dot, slash, dot, dot. Now I see that tempfilter underscore test files is here. And now ls dot, dot, slash, dot, dot, slash tempfilter underscore test files. And now I see test file one, test file two, test file three, test file four, etc. So in order to run my program, dot slash source, temp filter, and then exactly this path that I had here, dot dot slash, dot dot slash, temp filter underscore test files. And then the test file name that I want to run, test file one. And then the output file name. So I can put the output file anywhere I want. I'll call it output one. And then it's going to complain because I misspelled temp filger. That doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to press the up button on my keyboard to give me back the same command that I just tried. And back up here and just replace that G with a T. And now it's going to run. And I should be able to check my output file to see if the answers are correct. So assuming that this is correct now and I didn't need to make any changes on ECE3, I'm ready to upload my zip file. So back over here in my original directory, temp filter underscore, or sprintjm underscore tempfilter.zip, I'll be ready to submit this to D2L. So I'll come to D2L, I'll choose the Dropbox, and I'll see that I have assignment one and that I'm going to be able to submit here. So now I'm going to add a file to assignment one, and I'm going to come back over to my folder, grab this file, which is the one I just tested on ECE3, Fortunately, I've uploaded 104% of that file. Strange. Uh, you must select at least one file. I don't know what that means. Let's try this again. Upload. That was really strange. So, teaching source YouTube jam underscore temp filter. And I'm going to choose this file. And I'm going to add it. Oh, there we go. So now it's added. And then I'll submit. So now I've submitted my zip file. Hopefully everything will be fine. We'll see. So good luck everyone uh, in submitting your own files. Make sure you test them first because there's a pretty severe discount if your program doesn't compile on ECE3.